2020, yeah. VVS company, yeah. Determination, laser focus, banging on they, on they, all they taking notice, taking notice, taking notice. Determination, laser focus, banging on they, on they, do they taking notice. Much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Cleveland Browns taking on the NFC champions. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Let's pick it up. It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off. King, King, King. Stay. Let's go. to throw Mayfield that one is caught by Hunt and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line that's a big loss of three and it brings up third down yeah. 
So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And that will be incomplete. Quandre digs there defensively. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 21 yard line. Wilson of the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 21. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 31 yards there to first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They run it with Carson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We got Luke and D. That's it. Play guys, four down, four down. Now on second and 13, Wilson. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Sheldon Richardson, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Good, good, good. From the shotgun, Wilson. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Back near his goal line, here's Mayfield. That's out to Chubb, complete. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 33 yards that time. 
first and ten at the 24 yard line. Now it's Carson. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The Browns drive about to get started. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there. 81 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Here's Wilson. Being chased out left. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles. So just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Check four. Check four. Now Wilson to throw again. Dancing to his left. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. When the spotlight is at its brightest. And let's face it, it's the Super Bowl. Those types of plays come out, don't they? Absolutely. A big-time catch on the biggest of stages. Do you think that that one's going to live on? We're going to see this for a long Definitely time. Definitely going to live on forever with him, that's oh, for sure. No doubt. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And now he'll tuck it and run. And an alley to run. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
Great gains back to back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Special. Go special. Alert, 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 alert. This time Wilson will throw. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. They'll try to run with Carson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Myers connects on the PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Regular, regular, regular. Two, two. Spill. Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Jadevian Clowney, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Mayfield in this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. Check, check, alert, 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 alert. Hurry, hurry. Go, go. Who's that? Third and long for Mayfield. Eluding the pressure right. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now last drive, so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that what he would have it on the ground. <laughs> Second and five now. Wilson, he'll find Metcalf. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's a gain of four. Makes it third and two. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And 
They'll run for it with Penny, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Throwing on second and eight. Mayfield, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Mayfield from the gun on third down. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. That scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now Wilson. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Wilson. Flush to his right. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. Think it's intercepted. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Gain of two brings up second and eight at the 22-yard line. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. up in a couple of minutes we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando the coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL flushed out right and he's going to drop this off to his fullback it'll be a pickup of just two and that's going to lead to a third down now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball not something they usually go over in practice very often And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Chubb. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 
bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. Chubb. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield, it's caught by OBJ. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. This time they stay on the ground. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 14 yards and it's a Cleveland first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Seahawks take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something that feels somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you use. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. 
That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Wilson leaves this one with Penny. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. And on third down, the Browns going to go with a nickel set. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He may try and run for this. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. You and I both know most coaches are really fearful about their quarterbacks running with the ball. They don't want them to take that big hit. I don't think they worry about that with Russell Wilson. He's so smart in what he does, and we just saw it there in that scramble. They'll run on first down. Carson, he's got the first down here inside the 30. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second and 12, Wilson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will not be denied into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. 
Point left, point left. After the interception, here's Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 36, 36. Go, go, go. Go, go. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what he says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And the punt will kick out of bounds, and it'll be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On first down, it's Carson. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw is Wilson. From the gun, he'll throw. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Let's go, let's go double count right here, double count. They'll run on first down. Carson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. 
Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. From the 40 now on second down, Wilson. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 34-yard line. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They run again with Carson. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, as the defense rallies quickly after the nice move. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And the Seahawks on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Wilson. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Now it's Wilson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Sheldon Richardson, and this Browns defense stands tall. Boy, you talk about not playing it safe. Why were they going for it there, Charles? It's got to be a full evaluation of their team. Do they trust their defense in this situation? Maybe they think they've given all they can in this game and they don't have anything left. Do they not trust that the other team's quarterback is just so hot that it, no matter where they get the ball, they go downfield? Remember when Bill Belichick went for it yeah. in that game? Yeah. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last pick. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Sheldon Richardson bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. After the sack here, second and 11. Throwing is Wilson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off near the 44. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window and everything is flipped in the other direction. A give running right is Chubb. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. And again, it's Chubb. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, 
these parents make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run with Chubb. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. They'll try again with Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sheldon Richardson make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And the return will stop right around the 25. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Set, 180! Check, check, walk 54, walk 54. Here we go, team. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. 
A one yard loss on the play. It's now third and 10. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. And that'll set them back five. Now they face a third and 15 here, following the delay of game. And they will take a knee here. The dog pound gets the crown. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all off season, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.
From Prada, rolling up. I'm in a brand new model. It'll be here tomorrow. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got. It take a week to count it. Then I'm back up. Name the place and we back up. Running these racks up. Hundred mils a week after. Dying from laughter. When they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one. Made a meal today and ain't my last one. Oh, I get back up. It down with the paint hot, left hand on the wheel. I'm closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When it throw it blind in my dreadlock, in the end zone with the mad dot. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Know you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. Got me. 